Hey guys, it's 4570Dylan, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys a bat chat replay. So this is my first ever, or er, well, second game in the bat chat. Um, it's not an especially good game, it's just sort of me, like, learning to play it almost. Uh, the Lorraine, I drove it a lot more aggressive than this, just because this thing, I feel like it's more fragile. Um... As you can see, though, uh, I just, it is insanely fast. Like, its top speed is 65, and it does 65 consistently. So I just drive along here, trying to see if I can spot anyone. Uh, I could have waited later in the match to do this. It might have been more useful, like, right before my team got to the city. And then I've seen if anybody's doing stuff over there. And um, I probably could have gone in front of this house group here, but uh, there was a platoon of two bat chats, or at least they were working together, so I decided that I wasn't going to go in front of those houses, because uh, dying at the start of the match sucks. So, bat chat. Uh, I free XP'd the 105mm gun, that's really good. Um, definitely, definitely was a good choice, it's a nice tank. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those tanks that just it has it's a good tank but it's hard to use. Like I don't know how to use it yet. Um I start off by going over here um still just sort of messing around. And then I notice that we're doing stuff over here. So I figure, "Oh, okay. Um I haven't even really clipped anyone." Like good. I'm hope I was hoping to get a shot on this guy, but he's behind a building. Then there's the bat chat there. And I pro I could have had this guy, but it just wasn't like a good enough shot. If that Jagpanzer wasn't in the way I would have put a shot into the bat chat. But I didn't get the opportunity. Um which is too bad. I really would have liked to share the bat chat friendliness. Um Now I'm thinking I should probably do something. This tank only carries 30 shells, which is kind of a big deal. Um, it sucks. You run out of ammo. I've like seen a lot of recordings of that. I haven't done it yet, but I like it's obviously a uh, possibility with an average damage of uh, let's see here 390. So 390 is not times 30. That's 11, or almost 12k, but not all of them are going to go in. Even if half of them go in, that's only 5k, so. Like, if half of them go in on my E100, that's a lot more, because it does. Let's see, like, that's 20 times 750. That's 15k. So, yeah. Um, here, I was hoping that, yeah, don't know. I was hoping that would have gone in, and then I'm just driving along and I say, oh, a T-57. I'm like, well, I have an auto loader. And I just put a quick uh, 1200 into this guy. And that's when I first realized, I'm like, wow, this tank is pretty insane. Um, unfortunately, that is half the damage I will do the entire match. But, yeah, the burst damage is insane on this tank. Like, I just noticed that there... And it rolls high, it seems, too, like 437, 417, 429. Um, that's nice when it rolls like that. Now they get rushed by Bat Chat, the Fosh. And I'm aware of that, but I'm almost fully loaded. Uh, I was tempted to go dump a clip over there, but I don't get the opportunity to do that, unfortunately. I'm still not a very good shot with the Bat Chat. Like, the gun handling is a lot different than on the Lorraine, I find. Um, so I stop. That guy's running. And then I see this guy. Can't shoot him. Can't shoot him. And he runs away. So now I have four in my clip. Thinking all... I was hoping I would be able to get something done. I have a shot on this guy, but it hits the dirt. Um, now I just sit and wait. And I only have three in my clip. So, 
not overly keen on sticking around. Uh, and I see that a T-30 is there. I really want to shoot the T-30. But then the wild bat jet appears. Put one in. He was behind the tank. Come on, Wargaming, you're better than that. That was kind of bullshit. But our STB-1 finishes the bat jet. Thank God. And then he gets nailed by the Jagdpanzer, I think. Um, and I'm gone. I have to sort of stick around, though, because I need to help these guys. Because that's not a good-looking flank right there. Um, I was going to finish the 57 as soon as I was loaded, but our STB goes after him. Um, I have I had faith in our STB. I'm like, okay, you can probably handle this. Uh, and now it's my turn. This is pretty cool right here. This is uh, Bat Chat at its greatest. Uh, miss one. One. And uh, finish him. Look around. Oh! Huh. Well, would you look at that? Hey, Amen. Finish him. I sort of fired. It wasn't a complete snapshot, but it wasn't fully aimed, obviously. Um, and I had an extra shell. That's why I was willing to do that. But now they're getting up high on the cap counter. Uh, we probably could have won this. I don't. I do feel bad about this, but at the same time, our team was just so spread out. There was a really good chance uh, we would have lost. Um, we would have done better if our M48 and T57 weren't protecting the bunkers over there from, I don't even know. Yeah, they were both really stupid. I don't care if you get two scout kills or whatever they did. I would rather have them come over here and do something productive. Uh, there I see the Jagdpanzer E100. Uh, I don't like it when I see Jagdpanzer E100s because they're looking at me usually. So that was an experience. And now I'm gonna, I was thinking I was going to go around here. And I'm like, all of a sudden, right about now, did the mat? Wait, did I crash? Uh, and then I realized the match ended, so that's too bad. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, more to come. Hopefully a good bat chat recording.